good morning so um i'm on reconnaissance uh what time is it probably like six o'clock in the morning and i was uh hired by this hotel owner to uh trap the cats that are that are uh causing issues they're they're running into some of the rooms and and causing problems um but but here's the deal uh i um I'm having a hard time catching these cats because um, there's somebody on this property that releases them before I get here. So, so I'm actually pretty determined now to capture these cats. Well, anyway, this this person he's he's feeding the cats and he gives them lots of food. And uh, there's already been three times to be honest with you, where he's released my um, my cats. I've only been able to remove one of them and of course relocate them and, and of course the same environment. But, um, so, so I'm going to show you a little bit. Um, so this morning I, I thought, you know, I don't know who it is that's feeding these cats. And, and so what I did was yesterday, I, I removed all the food that, that this person is, is feeding them with. And it seems like, I mean, he's spending a lot of money because every day he, he's like loading up the cats with food. Nobody knows who it is because um, mysteriously this food appears. So, uh, uh, so I have to, you know, clean up the food. And, and of course the next day there's another giant pile of food and I clean up that food and, and now there's another giant pile of food because the cats aren't going to my cages basically now. They they only eat the food this guy gives. So this morning I, I pull in early. I'm off today, see I'm, I'm not even in uniform. Um, and I'm in stealth mode because I'm in, my per, I'm, I'm in my truck that's not even marked and the windows are all pretty tinted. So even as I sit here, um, you can't even see me inside the truck. So what I did was the cage was on the far end of this property uh, behind the dumpster. And, and as I pulled in this morning, the cat or one of the cats, he jumped out of the dumpster. And of course there was nothing in my cage. So then I thought, hmm, let me bring the cage to where this guy feeds the cats. Maybe I will catch him while I'm sitting here waiting or I'll find out who's feeding the cats. So I, I, I brought the cage uh, uh, over to the location where he feeds the cats and immediately a cat ran out to come and see what I did. And I've never seen this. I've never seen the cat either, but I put the cage there and the cat sniffed around. Maybe he's already familiar with my cage, but you know, if I leave it there long enough, hunger will 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 defeat this cat and he's gonna he's gonna still go to the cage so uh let me give you a view of what's happening right now okay so hold on all right now if you look closely if you look real close the cat is sitting under the car that's the cat that ran out to greet me or to well actually after i walked away he he ran out to see what I put. Now you can't really see it, but right behind that palm tree is my cage. Now either two things are gonna happen. His hunger is gonna get the best of him and he's gonna eventually go back to the cage or the guy, I, I say it's a guy, but you might be mistaken. It might be a, a girl, I don't know, but somebody, that lives at this property or comes to work every morning i'm not sure but puts puts a pile of food right there behind that um palm tree and it, it even spills out onto the street he puts like half a bag i mean tremendous amount of food but there's that cat so um i'm gonna go ahead and sit here for a while i mean <laughs> I'm off today. I was I was determined to beat this. So I'm I'm camped out. I'm camped out here in my truck. And uh uh let let's uh 
let's see who who comes out let's see who it is and and if he comes out i'm gonna film him i'm gonna film it all the way to to get his reaction on the cage that that he sees or she sees and then of course i gotta confront the person because um i need to tell him what we're doing i don't want him to throw away my cage but but looky there that cat He's waiting patiently for for somebody to bring him the food. There, There's actually more around this bush right now. I was thinking about putting the cage there, but I said, you know, I'm gonna get brave. I'm gonna put it right there. So let's just, let's just camp out here and, and relax and see if we can figure out like what's gonna happen with this cat or whoever comes out. All right, well, here, here we go. There's somebody, there's somebody coming out. I'm not sure if that's the dude, but no, he, he's, he's just coming out to go get breakfast. All right, we're, 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 we're here during breakfast time. So he glanced over at the cage, but I don't know. I don't think that's the guy. But he sure took a glance and came out of nowhere. Probably to go get breakfast. There, There's a little bit of activity going on now. There's a guy in a truck. He kind of pulled up beside me. Let's see here. He's backing up. I don't know. He's parked behind me. Let's be quiet here. Okay, he's parked behind Denny's. I didn't see him get out of the truck. Okay, here he goes. Okay, here's enough. Here's that same guy coming back. No, he's not phased at all about my cage. Nothing yet. Cat's still there. He's sitting around because because whoever feeds these cat comes out every morning. I've, I've, I've actually come over here, you know, eight in the morning thinking I'd catch it, but, but I've never come this early. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen. Here comes another car. No. Cat's like, where's, where's my master? I'm hungry. We'll see what happens here. All right. So it's, uh, I'm thinking it's about 10 minutes to, to 6.30. And I'm thinking, I'm, bet, I'm betting this person comes out at 6.30. So I'm going to sit here for a while. The cat's still there. Uh, I'm drinking coffee and, uh, I wonder how these private investigators feel because I got a little adrenaline going on. My heart's kind of pumping. I'm a little nervous because I'm actually going to have to confront somebody if if they come out. Um, I'm here on a Saturday morning, a day that that I'm normally I'm normally don't come over here. So let's see here. I'm just I'm just going to see here. I'm I'm determined, but uh, that cat's still there. Just waiting. All right, 
so I got a little bit of movement going on right over there doors open it's a lady smoking a cigarette but she's got a bag in her hand so I don't know I don't know if that's cat food she was actually looking at me like oh yeah she, she's got something in her hand Some kind of bag in her hand. I bet you it's cat food. Oh, and look at the cat. Looking right at her. Corner of the car. Hmm. It's about to go down. Somebody else came out of that unit. Let's see, maybe it is two people. Oh. Here they come. Walking down the stairs. people. They're actually going to a car. All right, here we are. It's been, it's been about 30 minutes. Cat's still there. Nobody's come out yet, but that cat's waiting for somebody. Because for 30, 30, minutes, 30 minutes, it hasn't gone anywhere. He did walk over to the cage to investigate it some more, but he still didn't go in it. But I'm, but I'm still waiting. The cat's tail is kind of flickering. I don't know what's going on with him. Oh, there he went back to sit down. Chilling out. Cat still lurking around my cage. Um, I'm hoping the hunger gets the best of them. I've been here. For about 45 minutes still and nobody's come out to feed the cat but let's just be patient and see what happens I know he's getting hungry because he's not he's not gone anywhere This is where the person feeds the cat. Oh, this time the cat's moving around a little bit.
sitting in front of the palm tree. I thought he was going to leave. Okay, something's going on here. Jeep pulling up. Hi. Oh, you throwing trash away? Yeah. Oh, okay. You're feeding the cat? Well, we're trying to, do you work here? Uh -huh. We're trying to catch this cat by the owner. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um, you need to stop feeding the cats. Okay. I'm hired to uh, trap the cat. Okay. And uh, they're causing problems with- Oh, I've been with, feeding them. Okay. okay. Well, we gotta we stop. We used to have, we used to have mice. Yeah. I'd rather have cats than mice. Well, the owner would rather not have the cats. Okay. Well, okay. Back to the All right. Well, we figured out who it was, and I think it's a Denny's lady. And the cat is definitely eating her food that she puts out. So I'm thinking this person, now now I have a little dilemma because this might be a Danny's parking lot and then the hotel parking lot. So who's, if, if this is a Danny's parking lot and I got a trap at the Danny's parking lot, that's gonna be a no bueno, I'm gonna have to find a new location for it there we go there we go see he's like I want that food I want more of that food and it's under the cage She was not happy about, about me confronting her because 
the Denny's manager even came out, so I don't know if I'm gonna have an issue there. But this cat is trying to get to that food, but it knows not to go in the cage. So let's see. We'll get him, hopefully. When she fed the cat, I don't think she realized there was a cage there. Yeah, she's a Denny's employee. That's why she is. I see her walking around the front. Okay, so so here's the situation to all the cat lovers. And, and I have to say this before... Um, before I uh, end this video, you know, I, 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 I'm a personal cat owner. Um, I have two cats myself, but uh, I, uh, I have them at my house and, and uh, one, one stays in, doesn't like to go outside, in fact, steps outside just to get some sun, but immediately wants to come in. The, the other one's the opposite. He, uh, he likes to hunt, hunt my neighbors, my neighbors, uh, they 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 uh, they like my cat so far that I think because they know he he sticks around my house and comes in to eat. And I take him in to get shots and and I and I have him all uh, spayed and neutered and and uh, I also have three dogs. But I'm thinking you know and sometimes these commercial properties like these hotel owners will say hey hey you know I, I got a cat causing problems he's. He's going in my rooms, he's stinking the rooms up, they're bringing fleas, you know, and, and basically these cats don't don't have a home. And and don't get me wrong, you know, the girl that I just confronted, she, she loves the cats, you know, she cares for them. Um, but I'm thinking, you know, take them home. Go get them, get them neutered because one of the cats I trapped uh, was about to have kittens. I think, I think, I'm not, but, but I relocated the cat in, in a neighborhood scenario, you know, and, and, uh, and that's the thing, the city doesn't come and pick them up anymore, so, so it's, uh, kind of like relocate them, but, but be compassionate to put them in the same area, these cats are wild, they, they survive, but I'm, I'm not going to take the cats way out into the forest, in the woods, and let them go, because they'll die, so I, I, I put them in the same kind of scenario that they're 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 used to. So um, so I, you know if the girl really loves these cats, she, she should she should take them home. You know she said she's been feeding them for years, but the owner at the hotel he's been suffering for years. Um, I work for the owner obviously, uh, but but yeah I, you know. You know, maybe I should have said, hey, you know, you want to take them home? You know, you want to capture them and get them, you know, uh, uh, neutered and spayed, you know, and then and then let's find homes for them. But but see, I don't I don't I'm not invested like that in this situation because, you know, I'm, I'm running a business and and I got to I got to if I'm hired, you know, I got to trap them. I got to relocate them. And that's that's what my job title is, is here, you know. But anyway, I do feel bad. Trust me about this girl because she cares. And I'm glad she cares. There's there's a lot of people who who feed stray cats in the neighborhoods. Um, I think that's fine. You know, I, I think that's great. But but uh, um, but in this situation, you know, these cats need to be living somewhere else, not at this hotel. So uh, just you know, food for thought there. 
but anyway, unfortunately, you know, somebody's not going to be happy about me catching cats and somebody's going to be happy that I'm relocating them. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to give that final thought and uh, continue my cat trapping at this property.